day, everybody. Today I'm going to review Ryobi's brand new P517 brushless reciprocating saw. This is one of the newest tools in their 18 volt one plus lineup, and it is the most powerful cordless reciprocating saw that they've ever made. I paid $119 for this at the Home Depot a few months ago when it first came out, and it does have a three year warranty against manufacturer defects. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're looking at this, currently it's only sold as a bare tool. That means that it does not include a battery pack or a charger, and you would either need to own those already or buy them separately in order to operate this. But the good thing is, every tool in Ryobi's 18 volt one plus lineup is completely interchangeable with the battery packs. And that means if you already own a weed eater, maybe a drill or an impact driver, the same battery pack on those, you can pop in the bottom of here and it's gonna power it exactly the same way. Now here's a closer look at the Ryobi, and size-wise it is very similar to other corded and cordless units that they offer. It comes in at roughly seven and a half pounds, it's 18 inches long, three and a quarter inches wide, and eight and a half inches tall with a high capacity battery pack installed. The green portion of the housing is a very hard plastic, but the gray portion around the grip, around the boot, as well as the side bumpers is a softer rubber overmold. That's designed to not only protect the surface that you set it down on, but it will also give you a better grip and protect the tool in case you drop it. Installing a blade is now a one-hand operation. You'll simply pull the lever back until it clicks, insert the blade and push the lever back down to lock it in place. And depending on what you're cutting, it is a real good idea to choose the appropriate blade for that application. A demolition blade is ideal for home renovations. A pruning blade works best for trimming trees around the house, and a metal cutting blade is needed for pipes, rebar, sheet metal. The motor on this unit is a brand new brushless design. That means that it's more efficient and longer lasting than previous versions. And not only will the battery packs last longer in between charges, the tool also has a longer usable lifespan. To cut quickly, it has a one and an eighth inch stroke length on the blade, and you can control up to 3,200 strokes per minute by how hard you press in on the variable speed trigger. For faster, more aggressive cuts, such as demolition, you can rotate the switch on the front to orbital mode. And for slower, more precision cuts, turn that switch in the opposite direction, and it's gonna turn orbital mode back off again. As far as performance goes, let's see how the Ryobi does cutting through a variety of materials. To start out, here's a pine two x four, and the Ryobi's using a common wood cutting blade. And with almost no effort, it slices right through it. Bumping that up to a pressure treated four x four post and using the exact same blade, the Ryobi can also cut through it cleanly and quickly. For trimming tree limbs, most people would use a chainsaw, but rather dealing with that, I've installed a pruning blade and we'll see how the Ryobi will do. I'll line it up, pull the trigger, and it effortlessly cuts the branch right off. There's no gas, no oil, and more importantly, no fumes to deal with, and it is a lot safer. Metal conduit can not only be used for electrical wires, but also many projects around the house and yard, but cutting it down to size can be difficult. Using a metal cutting blade with the Ryobi, it's very easy. You'll line the cut up, start the cut slowly by barely pressing it on the trigger, and once it starts cutting into the pipe, pull the trigger in fully to cut it the rest of the way. Keeping your cut straight, especially in a low light situation, can be difficult, but to help with this, they have a front mounted LED built in just behind the blade that's gonna activate anytime you press it on the trigger. When you release the trigger, it has a 10 second delay, and you can use this also as a flashlight. The shoe pivots on the front in order to keep the saw stable as you're cutting, and it's fully adjustable in and out to help extend blade life. To make that adjustment, loosen the bolt on the side, reposition the shoe, and tighten the bolt back down to lock it in place. The hex key needed for this is stored in the base of the grip and should be kept there when not in use. As you use a recip saw, the portion of the blade that you're actually cutting with will eventually wear out, but by moving that shoe forward, you'll now be cutting with a fresh section of the blade rather than having to throw it out and just install a new one. With previous Ryobi cordless recip saws, one major annoyance that I had was with the trigger lock. On older models, you had to press it sideways every single time you made a cut, and once you released the trigger, you always had to press it in again before you could turn the saw on again. However, with this new brushless version, they completely eliminated that. It has a simple clickable locking switch, similar to a drill or an impact driver. You'll move that to the side to either lock or unlock the saw, and you don't have to constantly press it over in order to make a cut each time. Now for a runtime test, I have a fully charged four amp hour battery pack, a brand new Diablo reciprocating saw blade. We're gonna see how many cuts we can get through a standard pine two by four on just one charge.
132 cuts through a Pine 2x4 on one 4 amp hour battery charge. Now what I'd like to know is what do you think of Ryobi's brand new brushless Recip saw? Is it an upgrade over what you're currently using? And also, if you own other Ryobi 18 volt tools, which ones would you recommend? Leave a comment below this video and let me and everyone else know about it. And as they're researching Ryobi, your comment might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.